Right, now we're going to have a look at adding, subtracting, negative numbers. So success criteria for this. Now what you need to look at is you need to look at in the middle of the question. And if the two symbols are the same in the middle, then you need to add the numbers. However, if the two symbols are different, you need to subtract. So same, you have to add, different, you need to subtract. Now, I'm going to have done this number line at the bottom, so add and subtract them negative numbers. This can be help, quite helpful as well. So I'm going to leave this on the screen as we do this. So I've got obviously zero. If I take away numbers, taking away obviously goes that way. Now if I'm adding numbers, then we'll go up this way. So I'll do a couple of examples and leave this on the screen so that you'll be able to see what's going on. So first one we've got here, we've got negative four add 3. Okay, so if I look in the middle, it's just an add, so I have to add 3 onto it, so that means add is going to get bigger. So if I'm at negative 4 and I add 3, 1, 2, 3, that takes me to negative 1. So that is my answer. Now if I look at this next one, I'm at 3 and I take away 5. Okay, so it's just a subtract 5, so I'm at 3, and I take away 5, so 3, take away 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that takes me to negative 2. So see how this number line helps a lot, if you're obviously adding, you're going up the scale, if you're subtracting, you're going down. Now I'll go try it with a couple other ones, just so you can see the difference between a few different things. So now we've got 6 take away negative 2. Now we look at the two symbols in the middle and they are actually the same. So they combine and they actually turn into a plus. So this is actually 6 plus 2 because the two symbols are the same in the middle of the question. So 6 plus 2, fairly straightforward, gives me 8. This one here, now we look at the two symbols in the middle. We're at negative 4 and we'll look at the two symbols now. The two symbols are different. So if the two symbols are different, that means we need to subtract. So this is actually negative 4 take away another 4. So that means taking away another 4. So I'm at negative 4, take away another 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, which takes me to negative 8. Okay. So a couple for you, if you would like to pause and have a little bit of a go at. I've got 8, take away negative 3, and 4, add negative 6. So, if you want to pause, I'll go through and do this. So, I'll go through the answers in 3 seconds. So, 3, 2, 1, right. So, I'm at 8, and I'm actually going to look at the two symbols in the middle, and it's take away negative 3. Now, this means that the two symbols are the same, so that means I actually have to add. So that should be 8, add 3, which you all know is 11. Now this one, let me see, let's make this one a little bit trickier actually. I'm going to do negative 4. So if you want to pause, I'd say I've changed it so you can pause it and have a go. So negative 4, add negative 6. So I'm at negative 4. Now I look at the two symbols in the middle and they're both different, which means I need to subtract. So I'm going to do negative 4, take away another 6. So I'm at negative 4, take away 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and obviously if it was 6, it would be there. So its answer is actually negative 10. The answer to the other one, if it had been 4, take away 6 would have been negative 2. So that's the two different answers. So there's the rules. Two symbols are the same in the middle, then you add. Two symbols are different, then you subtract. And even if you need to draw this number line, it'll help you out in the exams. There you go.